Prior to the rapper's recent arrest on charges of sex trafficking, Taylor Swift once mentioned Sean Diddy Combs as one of her ideal prom dates. The lover singer can be seen playing a celebrity quiz game when she was 21 on The Rachel Ray Show in a resurfaced 2011 video. Swift responded to quick questions by showing pictures of various music stars, including Sean Combs, Katy Perry, and Jennifer Lopez. Swift, now 34, responded, It would be a group, and it would be a really fun group, when asked, who she would take to prom. During Swift's selection process, Ray, now 56, teased, Boy, you're going on a freaky prom date. Swift then displayed pictures of Combs, Perry, Lopez, Justin Timberlake, and Sheryl Crow for a brief moment. Why is there such a stunning variety of people? The host of the talk show inquired. The fearless singer offered an explanation. Because, all these different reasons. Well, Katie would be such a blast. She is just so spontaneous and crazy fun. Swift went on to say, he would be fun to be in the prom group. Adding, Diddy's really always been very nice to me. He is a gentleman, right? Ray added, he's a lovely gentleman. In a TikTok video that had been deleted, Swift's remarks reappeared, igniting debate among fans who claimed that the video didn't age well. We admired these people as millennials. We didn't really know what was going on. Like fearless or speak now Taylor. This is, according to the Daily Mail, one fan made a comment. She likes 19 to 21 here. Another user stated, back when we were so naive. And a third user added, this aged like milk. On September 16th, Combs, 54, was taken into custody on suspicion of sex trafficking, racketeering, and transporting prostitutes IT, is alleged that the founder of Bad Boy Records hosted freak-offs, during which women were allegedly coerced or forced into lengthy sex acts, AT the Brooklyn Metropolitan Detention Center. Combs is awaiting trial after pleading not guilty to all charges. He denies any involvement in the alleged offenses and maintains his innocence.